In Orlando, kickoff is looming. A live look inside the stadium as both teams hope to dole out some punishment in the Capital One Bowl. It ought to be a great one tonight, and we're glad you're with us. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit ready to call ESPN's college football. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. For Georgia, what should we be looking for from them today? Brad, this offense is the West Coast or pro-style offense, and it's very challenging for defense to be able to slow down because, again, it's very balanced. This, this is an offense that likes to run the football, but it's also a passing game that's more derived and built on timing between the quarterback and his receivers, and the biggest difference is the quarterback and the running backs. The running backs are heavily involved in this style of offense in the passing game. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Let's go! Cut. They'll give it off here. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. from their own 36-yard line. First down. Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. Number 26 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. There's a strike complete. Brought down with only one man to beat. This quarterback definitely has some confidence in his arm, Kirk. It sure looks that way. That was well covered by the defense, and he still got it in there. From the 42-yard line, first down. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Number 88, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 42. It's the tailback. Makes it out to about the 26. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. It's first and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Number 88 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. Second and 10, ball on the 26. Gets it out in a hurry. The senior makes the catch. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. Georgia is up by six. And he tacks on the extra point. So that's an eight-play, 75-yard drive. And the result, seven points. So our score, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And down he goes at the 
28. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. And he's level at the 44. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. First down. First and 10, ball on the 44-yard line. Here's a running play. And he's taken down right around the 40. They picked a good time to go with that call. It didn't seem like the defense was ready for it. And they'll move the chains. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 40. Sacked. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It would be interested to see how he responds from this hit, whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Here's the option. And they make the stop at the 48. He knew it was a run all the way and got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. He let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. So now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. They'll take over at the 19-yard line. Georgia up seven points. The halfback with a carry. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 40. He's at midfield. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. Got some open field. And down he goes at about the 39-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Hands it to the back. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They've got a solid drive going here. And I know it's not going to mean that much without putting some points up on the board.
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Georgia is up seven. The defense really missed a golden opportunity there. That's what separates a good player from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. From the 33-yard line, it's second down. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Gives it to the back. He's tackled at the 31. Brings him down. Gain of two yards. Fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Georgia can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. Kicks away, and this one doesn't have the distance. Tough break there for the kicking team. So we'll change possession with a score, 7-0, Georgia. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Gets it. He's in space. Brought down at about the 45. That's good for a gain of 14 yards. That makes it first and 10. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Made right around the 48 yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. From their own 48 yard line, second down. Nice catch on that one. He's at the 40, and he's tackled around the 27 yard line. Number nine with the tackle. This guy is so versatile. You can use him at the line as an extra blocker or send him downfield like another wide receiver. Either way, he's a great resource on every down. From the 27-yard line, first down. Cut. On the ground with the tailback. He makes his way to about the 18. Brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. down now. They need to get it to the 17. Here we go. And they'll get him in the backfield. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. Let's go! Stingray! Stingray! Ah! 
He drops back. This one's going deep to the end zone. Almost intercepted. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Georgia is up by a touchdown. And he is drilled at the 26-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 26. Ready. Green 19. Green 19. And he's tackled right away. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39. Throws complete. He's got room to work. That's a great tackle at the 47. A great first half comes to a close. The Bulldogs with a touchdown lead.